right so in this lecture let us see how can we automate web applications in safari mobile browser right so let us see uh, let's open our simulator and in ios by default we get safari browser and we will try to automate a web application by opening it on safari browser in our iphone right so this is a very easy compared to automating apps okay so let me create one class and show you how can we do that if you follow my android lectures on automating on google chrome it just stand the same lines the only difference we need to provide in the form of desired capabilities there we say ios android here we say ios there we say chrome and here we say safari that's it and remaining is same new class safari browser okay so click on finish the rate test public void uh, browse something okay. Uh, yeah okay move your mouse and we can import the JUnit annotation right now let's write the desired capabilities desired capabilities DC let's give an object okay so we will import the desired capabilities package change to desired capabilities set capability type Mm, yeah mobile capability type dot browser because we are interested in executing this in safari browser just provide safari that's it okay so you need not give any app information because we are not targeting any ios apps here we are just invoking safari browser and doing our automation by picking any application in the net okay so safari is done now we need to tell the platform set capability while capability type dot platform okay platform name name not required let's go with version so however we are in a mac and definitely it picks ios only so let's just say version it's 8.1 I told you right how to check the platform version as well as iPhone simulator. You can go to Xcode, Window, Devices, and there you get information. And next, you have to set whether you have to run these test cases in simulator or real device. Set capability. device name and we are working on iPhone 5 okay so that's it I think these three are enough you need not give any app information app path as we are not dealing with that okay so if you just compare with your previous program here browser name platform device these three we have mentioned you did not mention this file app path because we are not touching any apps 
so let me copy these two sentences as well so that it will invoke i was driver copy and paste so we are using dc object here so let's change it to dc oops okay we have to define ios driver Okay, all set. We can just throw an ex declaration here. Add throws declaration. Fine. So configuration part is set. Now let's try to open Gmail in Safari. Driver dot get. Gmail dot com. Okay. So let's run this program and see. And whether so now iOS device should open and it should invoke Safari browser and then it should hit this gmail.com URL so that we should be landing on the home page. Okay, so let's see how it goes. The JUnit test. Click on OK. 